Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Justin Wolf from Wolf Customs. We are at the first ever Wolf Customs gathering. And so what we're getting ready to do at this moment is we are actually getting ready to um, have our first challenge. And is what this challenge is going to be is I'm challenging everybody to make a one stick fire using a bog, you know, roughly this big around and roughly a foot long. Um, is what I'm going to give them is their choice. They can use a, you know, a hawk, hatchet, uh, axe, knife, or they can use a combo of any of those instruments. With those instruments, they have to process the log down into various size fuels, all the way from, uh, you know, decent sized sticks to pencil lead size, as well as process it down to make a tinder so that they can ignite that log with a ferro rod and have a sustainable fire. First person to do that, I am going to give them a hidden woodman's, or a uh, hidden woodman's, woodsman, jeez, haversack, okay? And inside this haversack is a 10 by 10 seal nylon tarp in OD green. So that is what they are going to get. So stay with me and check it out. Okay, come on up and introduce yourself. Show us what you're going to be using for your tool. <coughs> My name's Ed. <laughs> I'm got this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's Travis. <laughs> you guys don't Travis. No, seriously. I'm going to use my diving sparrow. Woo! Yeah, woods in school. Yep. Very cool. Who else we got? Oh, we got a couple kids down here. There's Brooke and Kaylee. They're using dynamite. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're playing, using dynamite. We're playing together and we're... Age advantage thing cool. We are... Move along, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Trailhawk. And a more companion. All right, and that's Heather. Log and Smith and Wesson. Smith and Wesson Knife. Awesome. Say it, I'm so cold. <laughs> I'm Luke, Hunter Specialty Saw. Okay. Old school trade. Nice. Very nice. Uh oh. My name's Ed. I like baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! BK9. Look at that beast. So stupid, I didn't bring an axe. Nice. Excellent. Anybody else? Nope? Okay. Me. Oh, that Me. guy. Oh, that guy. Me. Oh, there we go. Me. Larry's not doing Me. it! Terry. Hey, Use the uh, Laplander and the Mora. Okay. See what? They got somebody loan me a lap lander. <laughs> I'm going to be the loser. Okay, let's take a walk around. Okay, you all ready to go? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's see here. We got Travis. Oh, he's definitely ready to go. <laughs> Lee's about to hit Travis. Okay. We're good. <laughs> okay, let's come down here and see if Ed and Heather are ready. Heather, you all ready? Yep. Okay. Ed? Yeah, God dang, cowboy. look at that beast. Yeah. Oh, the knife. I That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Everybody do me a favor and just do it safe. I mean, we don't want any blood spilled today, so. Oh, well, I thought that was the second competition. That's right. That's right. The second competition is patching up whoever's bleeding. Okay. Is everybody ready? Where did Terry go? Terry was going to do it. Where did Terry go? Okay, well, we guess uh, we better wait for Terry. Terry! Maybe he's using the outhouse. That could be. Okay, Terry's back. Finally. Finally, yeah. Finally. He's all ready to go. You almost there, bud? I'm ready. Go ahead. You're ready, okay. Okay, kids, so what I want you to do is as loud as you can, I want you to say, ready, set, go. Ready? Do it. Ready, set, go!
be careful now. Yes. yourself a naughty piece of wood there. I know, that's what I said when I grabbed it. I should have took the time that Terry... Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've still got a long ways. Woo! I tell you what, Ed's making short work over here. Oh, so is Heather. Terry's relying on the fact that he's got a piece of cedar. But it's greener than I thought it was. <laughs> oh, I guess the dogs decided to join in on the competition. I don't know how you're going to use a ferro rod, Maya. You ain't got no thumbs. Oh, I got the, like, the naughtiest... Okay, Mr. Henry is definitely sped up and he is uh, going to town here. Boy, that thing is not wanting to budge. Yeah, half this is wet, punky crap. Lee's making some headway here. Won't be much left of the knife when I'm done, but for the handle. Uh-oh, I see some feather sticks being made over here. You guys better hurry up. Ed's got some feather sticks going on. <laughs> Everybody laughs at my big knife. Laugh it up, Chuckles. Laugh it up. <laughs> kind of a uh, an example right there as to why some people choose a big knife over a small knife. You got a lot of people that uh, really talk bad on people with big knives, but you know what? They get the job done. You know what they say about a guy with a big knife, right? What's that, Ed? You got a big knife. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Heather and her hawk are doing some fine work over here. Uh oh, Mora's coming out. It was done. Hey, Dad. Dad. What, baby? Can we, can we choose who's the winner? Hey, Heather. Come here, babe. Dad, can we choose who the winner is? Well, kinda. Will you take the camera for a second, please? Oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is this inside help? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> let's let's no that help bad boy do judging. some work for you. Thank you, Rig. Rig. 
does your hop do that? Loosen? Yeah, it's because you've got that set screw on. Hey kids, watch out. Stand back for a second, okay? There you go. It takes a little bit of practice. Once you get that, the hang of it, though, you, you can split really well like that. Okay, looks like Travis has got some feather sticks going on here, too. This might just come down to the wire. This one sucks. <laughs> How's it going, Lucas? Yeah, it's going. Doing okay? Yeah. Trying to utilize not some uh, wedges, me. are you? Yeah, that's not killing me. What you trying to start there, bud? Just trying to try some of the smaller stuff. Okay, I can absolutely assure you, you will not right. get that. Okay, you're okay. really going to need to feather it out really fine. Okay. This is a good time to realize your knife is dull. Yes, sir. See, that's on. Okay. Now another thing that you can do, you you know that your knife is dull. Yes. Hey, Heather, can you take the camera for a second, please? Okay, if you know that your knife blade is dull, okay, yes. and you're needing to get some fine stuff off of it, okay, scrape it. See that fuzz that's starting to come off? Okay, cool. Okay, now you're probably not going to want to do that with a sharp knife. If you've got a, if your spine of your knife is sharp, sharp enough, you can do the same thing with your spine. But you're not going to be able to feather with that, that knife. I mean, that knife's just entirely too dull. There you go, you're getting some nice, some decent curls there. Never made a feather stick before, so. Never a better time to practice than go. right now. It's gonna be very difficult though, with, uh, with that, like I said, how dull that knife is. I think I'll use a combination of the two. Get some stuff there. Absolutely. Oh, I know. How we doing, Terry? I'm just going to rely on lighting the entire damn log up. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's so knotted up. Looks <laughs> like Ed's still got a nice pile going on here. Some nice shavings. Uh-oh, I see Heather getting ready to curling up a few pieces too. like he's working on some very nice shavings over here. <laughs> this wood is not working with me. I'm kidding you. Terry's been giving her pet talks over there. You did the lead, you're doing great. <laughs> Travis is doing exactly what I was uh, showing Lee a second ago. Utilize the spine of your knife. Really get some good fine Shavings make some great tender. Hands are falling asleep. Falling asleep. 
Yeah, I got bad yeah. circulation in my hands. Uh oh. That's the nice thing about cedar. Yeah, look at there. <laughs> that is a that is a that is a plus right there with cedar. Terry's processing that down to a nice tender. Got some real fine dust in there. Kinda now wet. it's just gonna kind of depend on whether or not it's damp. It's damp. Everything's kind of damp. Send me a knife? Yeah. Maya. That would be awesome of your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, get out of there. Wow. Your daddy gonna send me a knife too? Yeah. All right. Hey, you're just gonna get all the good stuff, aren't you? He might. He might. Uh oh. Ed's uh Ed's going to flame or yeah. trying. It's wet. The wood's wet. What's going on, Larry? Not much, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. That's okay. I, if it's only a foot, you can step on it all you want. Because <laughs> <laughs> that don't weigh too much. Oh, we're at the bottom, you're up, we're at the top? That's yeah. right. Maya's like, what you doing, Lee? I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, you don't want to do this. Keep your nose back. Yeah. Okay, I can tell you right now, okay. you're going to have a, such a hard time with Tinder. Yeah. Don't tell anybody, but there you go. Give that a shot. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Terry's, a, Terry's doing a stir <laughs> run. <laughs> you could be able to get a little bit finer curls with that if you're if you're delicate, okay? Okay. I need to back and trying to dig too much. I was used to that other one. After after today, it'd be very beneficial for you to uh, really practice on your feather sticks. Cause this, uh, situations like this is when they really come in handy. But you'll be able to get some finer shavings with that. Okay. Thank you. No problem. We've got two people starting with the ferro rod. Do we? Yeah. Ah. Uh oh. Travis is going, huh? Uh oh. oh. <laughs> We've got a flame. Uh oh. I'm too busy trying to get this thing. Going too soon. Let's just see if he can keep it going. That's going to be the challenge at this point. <laughs> hey, Brock, Brock, get back. It's not going to stay. We got fire over here, guys. Uh, Who's got fire? It's not going to stay. Not me. In the unmentionables? <laughs> or anywhere to pull him down. Maya, get back. That thing is trying to figure out how to get the fire sticks to light. Oh, yeah, I get a wet log. That was a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> it looked dry. Yeah. I'm going to dry on the outside and on the inside. See how the dog's doing on her one stick fire. Oh, yep, she's going after she's her. Still, she's still going at her. Sure, That's right. It is. Be quiet. Uh oh. Did it go out? No, not yet. Not yet. Let's go see how everybody else is doing here. It's wet. Ew, can we see my 
And as a uh, also another reminder, with your with your saw, you can make some really nice dust with that with the saw itself. You know, if you actually try to saw saw the wood. Oh, really? Yeah, you can make some nice dust there. Gotcha. Of course, just do it however you want to do it. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> hey! You guys both have a saw. Did you light it with a with a feather stick? Is that how you use Plus stick? And then stick. I put a little bit of feather stick in there. Okay. You know, Still you got our flame? Oh, you're not in my way, bud. Okay, looks like Travis is doing pretty dang good. It's not sustainable yet, but he's, he's definitely getting there. So I hear him say that he's got a magnesium stick over here? Yeah, magnesium right. on one side. Okay, you going to utilize that? I didn't know his part, or I could. You absolutely can. Hell yeah then. If it's built onto your ferro rod, I don't call that cheating. Okay. I call that being prepared. can't remember where I picked this up at, but... Can the one stitch be a match? <laughs> <laughs> Can the one stitch stick me a match? That's funny. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I call that sustainable. Travis is almost there. Almost there. Once we start seeing a coal bed in there. Fortunately, he has it on camera that I didn't. <laughs> so stinking wet. <laughs> Taking off a little bit of fine shavings first. Competition. <laughs> There's a perfectly good fire right over there. <laughs> Trying to light our magnesium, are we? There you go. What's up? Oh, should we get your sword? 
So close. Yep, that was close. Does somebody need to borrow one? A magnesium is nice, but it sure goes quick. Yeah, it yeah. sure does. Okay, now some of you guys are going to notice that Lucas is using the blade of his knife to strike his ferro rod. Now, that's because I. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. How an individual chooses to use their tool is that individual's choice. He doesn't have a sharp spine, so he's kind of forced to do so. Lack of options. And the striker that he was using was not was not cutting it. Wasn't able to get any sparks from that striker. How we doing over here, Travis? I I'm just looks like we've got going. a nice coal bed. Guys, we have got ourselves a winner. There we go. <laughs> Mr. Travis Henry has got himself a sustainable fire. <laughs> and he just won right. his wife a haversack. <laughs> no stress. And a 10 by 10 seal nylon tarp. I mean, he bit her. Congratulations. See if he gets friend. out of here, Lyle. Good job. Now. Thank you. You're going to make it out of here with that tarp. He's going to make it out of here, I promise you. Now I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna keep warm by Travis's fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, buddy. Well done. Yep, good job. <laughs> now keep in mind, I mean, it's up to you. You want to keep trying. There you go. I was actually sneaking over to Travis's and landing my wood. Yeah, he was. He was going over to Travis's and getting his lead wood and to bring it back to him. <laughs> And before we end, I would like to point out that I am very, very happy for Lucas because I tell you what, he was having a heck of a problem with his log, but he didn't give up. He stayed with it, and he is just super close right now. He's doing a great job. Very glad that you didn't get intimidated and give up, bud. Nah, that's the easy part. Giving up. Yeah, I'd love for some advice. Let me see that striker real quick and I'll see if I can... I was just going to show you a, a, a method that I've used before with these strikers. It's kind of a pain. Oh, my knee. But if you want to get... If you want to get... Are you doing a lot of pressure? Or? Yeah, it's, it takes a little bit of pressure. Okay. And you can get right up in your material. So, okay. but you know, you notice I, I overstruck and hit my, my tender, so some of your stuff can, is gonna go flying. Okay. If it were me, I'd have about three times as much feather stick as that. Yeah. Um, and now that the contest is over, you know, you're not rushed, you're not pressured. Absolutely. But, uh, so I mean, I, and I totally, that's, I would totally do it. And when you do your feather stick, that's a, like I said, I thought that was a really good feather stick, but if you can get it to spread out and get um, <laughs> more pieces like this, Big curls mm -hmm. like this, I think it'll light better for you. <laughs> okay. I have to all the time. <laughs> Something to uh, think about in the future with your magnesium is uh, it has a tendency to blow all over or spread when you're trying to spark it. Um, I know that this wasn't exactly part of the, the challenge, but yeah. if you have a piece of duct tape with you in your pack, you can actually pile your magnesium on top of your duct tape, and then the wind's not going to really blow it away. And then it act, actually, when you light it, you know, that duct tape is going to act as an extender. Yeah. Um, I traded somebody a knife, and uh, he had a piece of uh, duct tape with a, a hell of a lot of shavings on it, and I was wondering why. That's why. That's ah. why. All right. Let's keep on the feather stick. When, when I made uh, Feral Road. You did! <laughs> Looks like Ed's got one going now. I cheated. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> well, the wood, the all my shavings were real wet. I didn't, right. I didn't even know if I could even get it with a lighter. Uh, it barely even lit with a lighter. So I grabbed the wrong log. Everything in Kansas is wet. Everything. Stupid Kansas. Always wet. Always damp. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Well, what do you think, Heather? It's pretty tough. It is, isn't it? Especially when you don't have a proper edge to strike your rod. Right. So, just keep trying with what I have around me. Keep challenged enough. That's right. Well, kids, I made it out real kids, fast. did you guys congratulate Travis? Did you? Good job, job Daddy. Daddy. I'll take hugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh. Oh. Here, Heather. Cut her down. <laughs> This right here, this is why he's my dual survivor partner. <laughs>